video of United Airlines passenger bloody, screaming, and being dragged off a flight by security has been seen by millions of people, and one of them is the airline's CEO. Tonight, in an ABC News exclusive, he tells us what he thought when he saw that shocking scene and what he's doing to restore United's reputation. Here's ABC's chief business technology and economics correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. It's the video that had the world buzzing for days. A United Airlines passenger caught in a travel nightmare. Come on, come on. Dr. David Dow visibly shaken as he's forcibly yanked out of his seat and then dragged down the aisle and off a United jet by law enforcement after refusing to give up his seat. Oh my God, look at what you did to him. The episode unleashing a PR crisis of epic proportions for United Airlines. United Airlines is in hot water tonight. United kicked off several passengers. United better fasten its seatbelt. Everyone asking, how could this have happened? It was a system failure. We have not provided our frontline supervisors and managers and individuals with the proper tools, policies, procedures that allow them to use their common sense. United CEO Oscar Munoz sat down with me for an exclusive interview. What did you think when you saw that video of a man being dragged off of one of your planes? Probably the word ashamed comes to mind. You know, as I think about our business and our people, um, the first thing I think is important to say is to apologize to Dr. Dow, um, his family, uh, the passengers on that flight, our customers, our employees. That is not who our family at United is. This is what you would call a perfect storm of bad PR. You saw people saying that they were going to boycott United. You saw people protesting by lowering the stock price, by selling off their stock. You saw online people tearing up their frequent flyer cards. The incident started on Sunday evening when United Flight 3411 was scheduled to leave Chicago. The destination, Louisville, Kentucky. After the passengers had boarded, the crew began to offer vouchers for a handful of seats. According to United, at the last minute, four crew members needed to be on that flight, which is why they decided to bump passengers who had already been seated. They told us that we would not leave until four people volunteered. No, I'm not going. I am not going. With no takers, a United computer picked four passengers, offering them $1,000, the airline says. All complied, except for Dow, a doctor who said he needed to get home to treat patients. Drawing even more criticism, United's first response, Munoz issuing an apology for re-accommodating passengers and writing in an internal memo about the incident that Dr. Dow was disruptive and belligerent. It's pretty clear right from the beginning they lack the number one thing you need in crisis communications, and that is empathy. Why did it take until Tuesday to offer a more full-hearted apology? I think my first uh, reaction to most issues is to get the facts and circumstances. And uh, the initial, my initial words fell short of truly expressing what we were feeling. What do you say to those out there who believe that this is too little, too late. It is never too late, first of all, to do the right thing. And again, as I said, my initial reaction to the process was to get facts and circumstances, and my words failed. This is one of those cases where it was truly, truly, truly viral, and the public couldn't get enough of it. Especially on social media, where the incident has quickly mushroomed into memes like these. Some Twitter users even trolling the airline with the hashtag New United Airlines mottos with suggestions like you carry on, we carry off and board as a doctor, leave as a patient. This is really fueled by the fact that most of us, particularly those who fly a lot, really don't like the flying experience and really don't like the airlines for the most part. It's just not pleasant. Making matters worse for United, this is just one among a stream of recent incidents where passengers say they were mistreated. Just last month, two teens were asked to change clothes before boarding a flight from Denver to Minneapolis. We heard the gate agent say, you know, these aren't my rules, I just enforce them. 
United says the girls were flying under its Pass Rider program. That's where employee relatives and friends can fly for free or at heavily discounted prices, but that they have to obey a dress code. And in a Los Angeles Times article today, United customer Jeff Burns said United threatened to place him in handcuffs last week if he didn't give up his first class seat to a higher priority passenger on an oversold flight. He was given a seat in economy class. He said that he was removed from a flight and told involuntarily that if he refused to deplane, he would be put in handcuffs. This is still going on. I heard about that, so I don't know any of the details, but it's probably another good example why our policies need to be reexamined. I do think United will recover from this. I think if United doesn't look at this from top to bottom and say, what happened, how did this bite us in the butt, and how are we going to make sure this doesn't happen again, then they're not doing it right and they're setting themselves up to do it again. Tonight, the three officers who dragged Dr. Dow off the plane have been placed on administrative leave, and Munoz said United's policy would change. In the future, if no one voluntarily decides to leave a plane based on the amount of money that United is offering, we're will not, United... We're not going to put a law enforcement official to take them off the A airport. law enforcement official will never come on one of your planes again. To remove a booked, paid seating, pass seating passenger, we can't do that. The airline has also said it will compensate all the passengers on the flight. As for Dr. Dow, what do you think he deserves in all of this? Well, certainly an apology. And at, from that point on, I think we'll have to see. Do you think he's at fault in any way? Uh, I, no, he can't be. He was a paying passenger sitting on our seat in our, in, our, in our aircraft, and no one should be treated that way, period. For Nightline, I'm Rebecca Jarvis in Chicago.